Do you remember King Herod's favourite saying? Being a king is harder than it looks. <laughs> it's not just a matter of ordering people about and pleasing yourself, you know. <laughs> Except Herod was exactly that sort of king. <laughs> he loved yelling at everyone as loud as he could. And he only ever did things he wanted to do. He only cared about his people if he thought they might want rid of him. Which was, to be honest, all the time. And <laughs> he was worried the Romans were going to replace him. Particularly the year they decided to have the census. <laughs> That took some organising. Everyone had to go to their hometown and then stay there long enough to be counted. <laughs> what a waste of time. And Herod was even more paranoid than usual. With so many people moving about the kingdom and all with the Romans' permission. When the wise men turned up, I thought he was going to burst a blood vessel. <laughs> A new king? A new king? I am the only king. Bow before me, the right and true king of Israel. Um, might it be worth having a word with your advisers in case we missed something? I suppose you might have missed something, but there can only be one king, and that is me. The king's advisers loved having the wise men to talk to. They swapped all sorts of knowledge, but almost straight away, they said that if a new king was to be born, it would be in Bethlehem. Do you know when exactly? The wise men and the advisers knew all right, but no one was going to tell the king. Right, you wise men. I'm going to let you go and find this royal baby. Then come back and tell me where he is so I can... Go and pay my respects. Thank goodness those wise men were wise and understood what was going on. That Herod would have found a new baby and had him killed. Even though it was obvious this baby was important. That stop! It was flipping enormous, but Herod couldn't see beyond the end of his nose. <laughs> I thought he might have imprisoned the wise men for questioning, but they did seem very rich and important. Herod was always impressed by money and riches, but never by wisdom or kindness or anything of true worth. Heron's dead now. It was such a relief, as it was getting more and more difficult to serve him. Not difficult, dangerous. He was quite mad at the end. I think the wise men coming and telling him there was an important king being born in his kingdom may have tipped him over the edge. By then, I'd been put in the cells quite a few times because I hadn't obeyed him fast enough or I'd been standing in the wrong place, or had the wrong look on my face. But there was a silver lining, because one time, while I was in prison, I met a thief awaiting trial, whose brother was a shepherd. He told me all about a baby born in Bethlehem, that had been sung over by a sky of angels. Only this baby had very poor parents, and during the census, they had had to live out with the animals, I hope they escaped the soldiers sent by a herald to kill any child under two. 
I hope God protected his new king. Herod was an evil man. He seemingly defied God himself to stay in power. Much good it did him in the end.